Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yukimunte. If it's your first time here, hello. Thank you for joining the family. I am so excited today. We're having a makeup tutorial for the first time this year. I've not put up a makeup tutorial, I think, since December. Yeah, yeah, December. Yeah. And you guys, I've missed doing this. So I'm just going to be walking you guys through my new makeup routine. I think today I'm just going to start with something light something soft since i've not you know uploaded any makeup tutorial this year so without further ado let's head right into today's video so my face is already moisturized and the first thing i like to go in with is my primer and i'm going to be using my fenty beauty true matte primer i've been trying out this primer lately and i really like it so i'm just going to apply this on my t-zone You instantly feel this mattifying the face, but not mattifying in a drying way, but just a comfortable matte feel. There's definitely a difference from this part to this part that doesn't have no primer. Now that that is done, I'm going to be going in with my Black Opal Sheer Metallics in Bronzy, and I'm just going to apply this on the high points of my face. Next, I like to even out my dark spots with my Black Opal Foundation Stick in Suede Mocha. And these two enemies of progress right here, I don't know how this happened. I try as much as possible not to poke my breakouts, but I don't know. I think this happened like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. And they were so painful and they ended up leaving these ugly girls on my face. I like to warm up the products with my fingers first and then to on top of the scars. And in case you're wondering what brush I'm using, I got it from AliExpress. And since I started buying brushes from AliExpress, you guys, I've not looked back. If I find the link, I'm going to have it written in the, description, in the description box, just in case you're interested. Now going in with my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Sponge, I'm just going to use this to make sure everything is blended in nicely. And if you notice, I didn't go in with the foundation under my eyes because I'm still going to apply a concealer under my eyes and um, I just don't want that place to be cakey basically. Moving on to highlight, I'm going to be going in with my concealer from L'Oreal and this one is in the shade Chestnut, right? Yeah, Chestnut. And I'm just going to be applying this under my eyes, my chin, my forehead, all of that good jazz. Why did I do that? Usually I don't put concealer here. I just use what I have left after blending here. I don't know why I did that. But anyways, you guys, you don't necessarily have to do that. So I don't know why I did that. You just want to make sure that you are blending as much as you can so that we don't see no harsh lines. After blending the concealer, you want to go around it and make sure that you blend everything into your skin so that we do not see no lines of demarcation, no harsh lines. Now that that is blended in nicely, I like to go in with a lighter shade of concealer just under my eyes and this one is from Juvia's Place in the shade 10. As much as I like um, this concealer, it spills a lot around the edges. I just cleaned it, that's why you guys can see, but it spills a lot around the edges. 
So while I wait for that to dry down a little bit, I'm going to be cream contouring with my black copper foundation stick. And this one is in Ebony Brown. You guys, I've been enjoying this lately. I didn't use to cream contour before. I just went in straight with a bronzer, but I've been doing this lately and I've been loving it. I like to go in with my brush like this instead of drawing straight lines because I find it harder to blend that way. I like to go in with my brush and then apply it. I feel like I have easier control when I do this. So I just keep this one underneath right here. I don't bring it down while blending. I just focus underneath my eyes right here. Now that everything is blended in nicely, I'm going to be moving on to set with one of my new favorites. It's from Huda Beauty, it's the Huda Beauty Setting Powder. And I have her in the shade Kunafa. You guys, I like powders that have the yellow undertone to set i don't know that's just me just my preference i really like powders with yellow undertone and such a buttercup used to do it for me like that one is an og always my go-to then you guys i tried out this one and i really really like it too so i go in with the same beauty sponge just tap gently and pat on the back of my hands like this and then i go in and set and these days i'm very light-handed with setting powders i don't pack on too much i just use enough to set um, the highlight, I don't like to use too much. I just realized that my mic was off when I was mentioning that the bronzer that I use is from Fenty Beauty in the shade Mokamami and I just use that to set the places that I already contoured and to add some warmth back to my cheeks and I also used it to contour my nose. Now we're going to move on to set all over the face and I'm going to be using my Iman Press Powder in the shade Medium Deep. I like to use my beauty sponge to apply my powder. I just like to tap on that. Dust off the excess at the back of my hands and then pat that into my skin. This is what we have and now that everything is blended in nicely, I'm going to go ahead and breeze through the rest of my makeup and we'll come back to finish the face. So now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of my powder and just go over the skin one last time. Now I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Multi Stick in the shade Bronzy and I'm just going to use this as a blush. Going in with my Milani highlighter, this is number four. I'm just going to be applying this on my nose. That's literally the only place I use a powder highlighter just on my nose and the last thing i like to do is to go in with my garnier rose water and i'm just going to spray this all over my face 
I'm going to be lining my lips with my Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. Going in with this lipstick palette that I got off AliExpress a while ago. I'm sorry you guys, I can't find the link to this um, lipstick anymore. I tried looking for it recently and I couldn't find it. I'm going to be using this shade right here. Going in with my Neutrogena Lip Gloss in Nude Almond. And I'm going to be topping that with a random clear lip gloss. All right, you guys, so we're done, and this is the final look. Let me just open up, cause I got to know if you feel the things I do. I might need some help if you so that's pretty much it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you did enjoy, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, share with your family. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.